Hi guys, it's uh, Jackie M here. Now uh, I'm going to, I found a recipe online by the way for uh, fish curry powder. I'm pretty sure it's the same one that I've tried not so long ago but I haven't got any notes for some reason. They're somewhere I'm sure. Uh, but it's fish curry powder, Malaysian fish curry powder and I remember it being a very very good match for uh, the brand that I use in my cooking which is Baba's. So uh, for those of you who can't get Malaysian fish curry powder this might be one that you want to consider this particular recipe I'll put the link in this post but uh, what I'm going to do because this is a thermomix specific uh, video is I'm going to actually use that recipe and convert it for the thermomix okay so let's get started now uh, first of all with the thermomix you know we weigh everything because it's more accurate now this particular recipe had everything in volume okay so a tablespoon of this tablespoon and a half of that and stuff like that so I'm going to actually use all the spices but I'm going to weigh them I'm going to record their weight and then at some point I'm going to program it into my thermomix I'll share it with you guys so if you're interested in getting a hold of my content make sure you sign up to my uh, uh, my email list okay so you don't miss out okay so we're gonna do this now okay first of all fish curry powder we want three tablespoons of cumin I've got the scales here okay so I've got the, thermo uh, the, 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 the spoon measure I have a feeling that the person who created this recipe is a bit like me and that they're not that uh, fuss about uh, specific measurements but we're going to write this down so Three tablespoons gives me 25 grams. I'm going to write this. One and a quarter tablespoon of fennel. So this is fennel. Okay, I'm going to tear this. Nine grams, uh, three quarters to one tablespoon of fenugreek. Okay. Oh no, that's carrot coriander. <laughs> okay, now my fenugreek. Okay. Three quarters to one tablespoon. Let's go with one tablespoon because I've had this sitting in my pantry for a long time. Okay, one tablespoon fenugreek. That's uh, uh, four grams. And three quarters tablespoon of black pepper corn. So black pepper corn at the bottom of this. Three quarter tablespoon. Five grams. And we want three quarter tablespoons of chana dal. I don't actually have chana dal, but I'm going to use tor dal. Okay. I'm sure it does the same thing. I gotta remember to tear my uh, scales every time too. Um, okay, three quarters tablespoon of chana dal. Okay, actually, I'm supposed to roast this first. Okay, so let's roast this. And then we'll take it from there. Okay, so to roast it, I'm gonna set this on the highest temperature which I believe I know there's some dispute about this but I believe it's oh, the Varoma setting so uh, now we're going to roast this for no, let's do it for 15 minutes at Varoma temperature and I'm going to set the blade to reverse stir okay so it doesn't chop it up awkwardly okay So we'll let this do its thing and we'll come back when uh, when it's done the 15 minute cycle and hopefully it'll be out aromatic by then, okay. okay. Now, uh, I reread the instructions for this recipe, right? And it did say, because remember I mentioned chana dal earlier, okay? It did say actually to toast the chana dal um, at some point while you're roasting the other stuff, right? You roast the... Uh, all the stuff I chucked in earlier and then you add the chana dal and you roast it longer so because I set it to cook for 15 minutes originally this is at the halfway point it's just past the seven and a half minute mark 
I'm gonna add the chana dal in now and it says three quarters tablespoon so about this maybe yeah okay let me just weigh this quickly okay I'm gonna make it four grams okay so you can see there's a little bit of um, steam coming through that's why I'm using this thing over here so that the steam doesn't get trapped in there and it becomes a soggy mess okay so let's go back to this and keep going okay so it's ready let's have a look okay so it smells very very uh, aromatic now now what we're going to do now is supposed to actually like if you were Roasting it in a pan, you're supposed to take it out and let it cool down and then you're going to add coriander powder Now uh, just the one thing, I don't actually have coriander powder, I've got coriander, whole coriander So we're going to use that instead So this is my coriander And they call for 5 tablespoons coriander powder, I'm just going to weigh this uh, I'll do 5 tablespoons coriander seeds instead, okay So here we go 2 3 4 Five. Okay, so that's 28 grams and it calls for 4 tablespoons mild chili powder This is the one that I'm going with today, Kashmiri chili powder which I got at an Indian grocery store here in Sydney and it's pretty mild so we're going to put 4 tablespoons Oh, there's a spoon in there So let's use that. Easy peasy. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. That's 40 grams, yeah? Then we're gonna do... Um, Let's write this down before I forget. One tablespoon turmeric powder. So turmeric, everyone should know. It's bright yellow. Okay, one tablespoon equals that's ten grams. Okay. That oh, says so yeah, ten. And then we want three quarters tablespoons of white pepper, powdered white pepper. Okay. I'm not really sure why they went with whole peppercorns for the black pepper and powdered for the white, but we're just gonna run with it. Three quarters, okay. Works out to be about six grams. So let's write that down. Okay, and it says to grind further, but then they're not using a thermomix, so I'm going to assume the reason why they're breaking up the grinding process is because they're using a regular food processor blender, whereas our thermomix is a little bit more powerful, yeah? So I'm just going to throw it all in. And it wants half a teaspoon of Himalayan salt, okay? So again, this is from an Indian grocery store. Half a teaspoon, yeah. Okay. About three grams, I think. Does that look like half? Maybe we put such more. Okay, here we go. And we're gonna grind all this. So I'm gonna actually, it's a little bit of condensation here. I'm just gonna wipe this dry a bit, okay? And I'm gonna put the measuring cup thinger back on and we're gonna grind this okay so we're gonna set it on speed 10 let's do it for 30 seconds at speed 10 see how it looks okay
last night. <coughs> smells smells pretty legit. I'm gonna dig out my own, uh, you know, the commercial fish curry powder. We're gonna do a comparison. So this is the commercial fish curry powder that I buy, right? The reason I don't make it myself, this is because I can just buy this, okay? But I can appreciate not everyone has access to uh, Malaysian fish curry powder in their part of the world, which is why I do these videos, okay? So, visually, you can do a comparison, okay? Okay, let's take some out from each batch, and then we're gonna have a sniff of them, okay? And maybe, you know what, I wanna get Paul over and get him to do a blind, uh, blind sniffing, okay? And see if he can tell. Okay, so let's do this. So this is the commercial product. Okay, let's take some out. That's what it looks like. Okay. And this is the one that we just made. Okay. Let me just feel the texture. It's n it's nearly as fine. Look, let me just grind it another thirty seconds. to get it even finer before I get Paul to come out and have a sniff, okay? The thing is, because I've been working with these spices for the last 20 minutes, like they've all like, you know, permeated all my, <laughs> my nostrils, so I can't really tell. Uh, okay, here we go. I'm gonna call you. I don't, I don't look now, Paul. I'm gonna call you over to do a blind sniffing of the curry powder. Okay. See, first of all, you can tell the difference, and second of all, which one you prefer. Okay, here we go. So. Okay. Hang on, let me just. Uh, hang on, I'm very pedantic about cleaning up as I go. Okay, uh, apparently the smell actually settles a bit um, afterwards, you know. Okay, I'm not going to let him look at it okay. in case he can tell. Okay, okay, come on over. You can, <laughs> you can open your eyes. Okay, don't open your eyes. Have a sniff, okay? okay. Let me at least move my hands. Okay, first okay. one. Where are we at? Can you smell it? Let right, me smell again. Okay, I already think that's the bottom one. Second one. This is the fresh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's so obvious. Okay, the first one is the little taste. <laughs> okay, you can, you can open your eyes, you can open your eyes. Okay, so, so, so tell me, you can sit down. <laughs> Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> okay, so how is it obvious and which one do you prefer? And do they smell similar? Do they smell how? like they produce the same type of curry? How is it obvious? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> one smells fresh and the other one smells like it's out of a bowl. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but it's like it's more moist and... The fresh one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, it's like clumpy. As someone who makes a lot of like smoking rubs, mm -hmm. the, the fresh one okay, okay. looks like it. So okay. I'm cheating. Okay. But, okay. But, okay, you can taste it. Okay. This is fish curry powder, right? Mm -hmm. Fish mm -hmm. curry powder. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. It's not bad. And this taste. Fresh one. Mm -hmm. Do they taste different? Yes. They do? No, 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 I mean, they, they got the same flavor profile, but... Okay, that's what like I wanted to know, okay. Yeah, but this one's definitely like... Fresh. Fresh, fuller, obviously you got a little bit more spice and I think maybe a little bit more sugar. I didn't put any sugar in it. No sugar. No sugar. The one thing that makes it sweet. And maybe because it's fresh, so it's got like more sweetness in it. Okay, okay. Mm. 
But you know when uh, I, I mean, I I'm, choose the fresh one any day of the week. Okay, so there you go. So he's going with the fresh one. Let me just okay, oh, <laughs> camera again. Let me just show it to you guys again. Okay, so this one is the fresh, and this is the bottle. Okay, so the color is slightly different. Yeah, hold it in the light. That okay, just, that shows it a bit better. Yeah. Okay, and the fresh one is the the powder one. Literally, is like powder. All right, it feels extremely smooth. The yeah. fresh one, even though it's very smooth. You can tell it's that like it's ground. Clumpy, okay. yes. Right? Um, but I remember when I first made it the first time and looking at it and sniffing it, thinking, oh, this is actually quite different. They're both nice, but you know, I don't think I can produce the same kind of like curry because I, I, I use the bottled one, the packet one, all the time to make fish curry and a bunch of other stuff. But when I did use the fresh one to make fish curry, I can tell the difference. Uh, it tastes exactly like how Malaysian fish curry should taste. Okay, so uh, it's a win for me. I'm going to, like I said, we're going to try and figure out how to program this into a Thermomix and then we'll share the instructions with you guys. So make sure if you haven't already signed up to my Thermomix uh, email list, uh, make sure you do, okay, or join my WhatsApp group and whatever else. Okay, I'll see you next time.